Hey there, welcome to my channel, Anand here. And today's video is all about how to use and connect the Fractal Audio XFX3 with a tube amp and a load box. For this I'll be using my XFX3, it's a Mark II series, and my brand new coal amp, it's called the Marvel. It's 50 watts and a separate video of this great amp will follow soon, so stay tuned for it. I'll be using also my Sir Reactive Load Box IR loader, so I will be showing you three ways how I like to use it depending on the gig, the recording, the sounds I require and all what matters. So let's jump into it. The first setup is what I call pre and post amp. Some people call it the four cable method. I'm not sure if it's the right word to use in my setup, but I'll be going with my guitar straight into the fractal audio input and I'll be using like effects like the wah, the compressor, some drive, some phaser. From the fractal audio I'll go into the tube amp input, so all the effects before the tube amp. After the tube amp my speaker out goes into the load box and from the load box I'll come back into the fractal audio where it will get all the stereo effects like the delays, some reverbs, maybe some stereo pitch and some other stuff and that goes into my DAW. So let's see how I connect it and set up and how it sounds. As usual the guitar enters the XFX in the rear, the instrument jack, just a normal jack cable, that's fine. From there the signal will go in output 4 and output 4 this is really important that you use a humbuster cable. The humbuster cable is a stereo, the TRS, it's a stereo jack on one side and on the other side it's a mono jack. So the stereo TRS goes into output 4 and the other side the mono jack goes to my amp input in the Marvel the input of my amp and this makes sure that I don't get hum and less noise. So make sure that this is right, the right cable. I got this cable from G66 and it works like a charm so no humming, no noises. After output 4 hits my tube amp, the Marvel, the speaker out of the Marvel goes into my Sur reactive load IR and from there the balance out goes into the XFX input 4 balanced in. So input 4, you can see it here, it's a stereo jack balanced in and all that signal will pass through to output 1 which is connected to my SPDIF. SPDIF digital out has the same signal like my output 1, that's why I select output 1. And that goes digital to my RME Fireface. Alright, now that we have seen this pre and post effects, the 4 cable method or maybe 3 cable method, let's check out how this sounds and looks in X-Edit. First of all, if you remember correctly, the guitar went straight into the input of the XFX, so it's input 1, instrument in the back or in the front, doesn't matter. And that whole signal chain goes to output 4. If you remember output 4 has got the humbuster cable, it's got the stereo TRS into mono jack and the mono jack output 4 goes from there to my amp input into the Marvel. The Marvel out, the speaker out goes again to my Sur reactive load, balanced out of the Sur reactive load enters XFX in input 4, balanced. And input 4 has got then the pitch detune, multi delay and some plex reverb. With the direct signal it goes to output 1, digital and 
which enters the RME fire phase and stereo into my DAW. On my amp, as you can see, the master volume is totally cranked as well as the louder settings. You will see all about this in my next video about this amp. On my Sir Reactive Load IR, I'm using mainly one cabinet impulse response, and that's from ML Sound Lab. It's the Brit Silver Pack with the mix of a SM57 and a Royer 1 to 1. It's got lots of mids and it really fits my needs. And of course it's good to see to know how which settings I'm using in the XFX3. So let's check it out. The most important thing is the SPDIF setting. So as you can see SPDIF is connected to output 1. So the signal that goes to output 1 is connected to SPDIF digital out, so they are the same. Let's check out how this sounds with some phasing, some graphic equalizer which I use like boost or perhaps even some drive. It's all just a matter of choice, I just added these effects just for you to hear. So let's see how this sounds. <laughs> So my second setup, this is probably something what I will use live, where I only want to have effects after my tube amp. If I don't use, if I don't need anything before the tube amp, then I will use the second setup. So I just call this my stereo rig. So the guitar hits my tube amp directly, nothing in between. And then the speaker out of the tube amp goes into my Sir Reactive Load IR balance out enters the fractal audio x effects in input 4 balanced let's check it out input 4 gate is off as usual and i can put some effects after the amp so like the pan tremolo some flanging pitch detune sounds like van halen micro pitch and then my delays and my plex verb reverb and that all goes together to output one which is also copied to my SPDIF digital out and that goes to the army fireface. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
My first setup is what I'm using at home, mainly for recording and just jamming, playing. It gives me a very flexible option that whenever I have recorded something, I can still balance my effects with my dry signal. It's a wet, dry, wet rig. So if the effects are too soft, then I can just add more volume to it without having to play the whole thing again, what I should do if I had recorded it stereo. So my guitar goes straight into the Marvel amp and the speaker out goes to the Sir Reactive Load IR and that signal goes balanced to my Army Fireface in channel 1. It's a balanced signal. And in the Army Fireface I have a send return made for the effects. So the output one of the RME enters my Fractal Audio XFX in input 4 balanced where I have connected the delays and reverbs and that goes to output 1 on the fractal audio which is again connected to the digital out SPDIF. So SPDIF the effects goes back into the RME. So I've got my tube amp in channel 1 and the XFX is on channel 11 and 12 stereo and that I can balance in my recording. So I'm recording three channels one mono and one stereo. Lots of flexibility in mixing my effects compared to my dry signal. So if you check X edit, you will see here input 4, the gate is off and at home for studio recording I always only play with the multi delay and some reverbs. Both the bypass mode is on mute in so it's only effects effects only and the output is straight 0 dB. That's all what there is, nothing more. I just play with some delays and reverb from the Plex uh, or the multi-delay or the reverb and sometimes I use the Plex delay like a multiverb. Let's see how this sounds. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
important thing to check out is how does my dry signal compare in all these three setups. I really like to have the sound as analog as possible without too much digital conversion. So I have played in all my three setups. I will play the same riff. So let's check out how this sounds compared in all these three rigs and then see if it matters. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please hit that subscribe button now, subscribe to my channel and it will help me to create more guitar and gear related videos for you. The video of this awesome Cole Amp, the Marvel, will follow soon, stay tuned for that and see you around. Thanks for watching, bye bye.